It's the Chin Checkers Podcast, all about the fight game. With Mr. Get That Work and Hawk Von Dane. Grab your device of choice and tune in. You'll never know what topics gonna get it on the chin. Boxing, MMA, UFC as well. They discuss who got the win, who took the L, who won the belt, who pound for pound, who fell, who ready for war, who got next. Ring the bell. Oh, did you see the um the post the post fight um interview with um Andre? Nah. Oh man. Nah, I didn't see it. Wow, what happened? Let me know. Bro, you didn't see it. Oh, Andre, it wait, Andre who? Oh, oh, oh Andre. Uh, D- Andre. D- yeah, Dimitri, Dimitri, Andre. Yeah, yeah. Someone commented it. <laughs> someone. <laughs> Comment is saying that I'm like a Puerto Rican Charles Barkley. Yeah, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, they were like, you can't pronounce no one's name and you're balding. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, where they said that at? They sent me a text message. Oh, okay. Damn. Like, Yo, you look like um, one of Kodo's uh, bastard sons. <laughs> so, yo. I'm roasting you. I got thick skin, man. But yeah, shots of being fired, man. Oh my gosh. Nah, you know, it is everybody got something to say, but that's funny though. Funny though. I like it though. I like it. Yeah, yeah, I don't mind. I don't mind, man. But yeah, Demetrius it's Andre. It was like um, it was like uh, what you gotta say next. I think to Canelo or whoever, whoever. And mm-hmm. he, I think he was trying to quote DMX, but he was like, let's get it on. Uh, uh, uh. He didn't even, yo, he didn't even say any words. It was just like he was punch drunk. I think he got hit too much. Let's get it on. What the hell was that? Yeah, yeah, he didn't look as good as I wanted him to look. And it's kind of like what I said last time. He starts off real good. Like he he starts off good, and then like he just never finished the job. Like mm-hmm. he never could finish the job. Like you see, he hurt him early. I think yeah. he knocked him down yeah. one Quick round, one and two. he hurt him. He just never yeah. f- finishes the job. I don't know. You know, I'm I'm starting to look at him now. Like maybe he might have a stamina issue. You know, it's funny after. See, you didn't see the post fight interview. After the interview, he said um his piece, but then um uh his, his um promoter. Eddie, 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 Eddie Hearn. I can't, I can't pronounce no one's name. Eddie Hearn, but yeah, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> right, yeah, yo, I think I, I think I got punched too much. I can't remember shit, but um, the guy's name is Eddie, Eddie, whatever. You guys know who the fuck I'm talking about. Wait, <laughs> Eddie Hearn, you got it, you got it. Yeah, yeah, I need to work on the names, man. Yeah. So his promoter came on after and was like, um, that he can't really make the weight no more. So I think he's having trouble. Why you saying he's running out of stamina? I think he just physically can't make that weight no more. So I think at this point, he his next fight either got to be one of the, the the top guys, Gigi, um, Canelo, or um, Charlo, or he's not going to be able to fight at that weight no more. Which weight was that? One sixty, right? Oh, one- yeah, one sixty. So yeah, that he's going with the one sixty eight. I thought, uh, I thought I, this I, fight was one sixty eight. No, I think this is 160. Okay, okay. He can't. He can't make the weight no more. That, that, that that's basically the what the promoter was saying. That interesting. The weight no more. Okay. That I mean, that was uh, a a decent fight. Uh, I like I said, it, it starts off good with Andre, and he just never like. He never like finishes the job. Now, I want to say never, but a lot of times that's how his fights go. Even a, one of the announcers had had said that as well. Like, you know, I said it last video, like he starts off good yeah. and then he kind of like fizzles out. So when he gets to a point where he just maintains a work ethic and he just beats you. So that's kind of what happened with that. But uh, actually, the, the, the celebrity fight was real good, my man. 
It was entertaining. It was entertaining. What, yo, who called? Did I call it or did I call it? That that guy he's in the ring with uh, Ben uh, uh, knockout in three seconds. Yeah. Four, yeah. Three and a half know. seconds. Three and a half yeah. seconds. He has no hands, man. And it's not to be disrespectful because he's got a, a crazy resume, but he's got a resume of of wrestling or, or MMA background. He doesn't have a, a, a he has no experience um boxing. And I've looked up a little bit of him sparring and it's not looking good. Oh no, nah, this, this is easy money. Not looking good. Okay. This is easy money. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you definitely call. Cool. I, I I gave Ben a, a you know a little more like uh like I have more faith in him because I'm thinking he's a fighter. He he's going to at least go two rounds. I thought he would at least made it into the second round. But after I seen the weigh in, like when he oh. took off his, I was like, he took off his shirt and he looked he like yo. he looked like he literally <laughs> said, "Hold my beer." I was like, yes, yo, yes, yo, what yeah, is yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, you know he's about to go in there. He's with a killer, right? I mean, he's not a killer, killer, but. He's coming nah, in to he, kill you. Nah, he got some. He got natural talent, man. I, I I said that at the last one. Well, you know, I, I think it's a combination of na natural talent, and he seems like really determined. Like he seems determined to to prove to people that he really, you know, can throw hands. So he's I think also, that, he, he's also smart because he picked the right opponent. He didn't right. jump in there with an actual boxer like um Frank Frank Mir did. Frank yeah. jumped in there with, with Steve Cunningham, who was a top cruiserweight at one point. I'm not, I can't remember if he was world champ. I know he didn't win the heavyweight, though. He, could, he couldn't take a punch at all. But you right, see right. the difference with an MMA guy, even though Frank Mir got some skill, you could see the clear difference when someone has spent their life throwing punches compared mm -hmm. to someone who's skilled in uh, mixed martial arts. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That 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 was actually real embarrassing. Yo, yeah, but, easy money, but you man. know what? You know what happened? It's the same thing that kind of happened last time with the Ben, uh, the Ben Connor fight and Samuel Vargas. When I said I kind of want to see a ref let certain things go a little longer, it, that one yeah. could have went a little longer just to make sure. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You know, he he got up. He said he was okay. Let it go a little longer. You know what I'm saying? Give him a chance. Don't don't just you know. I I, I kind of didn't really like that, but I mean it is what it is. Uh, you know it, you know he got oh, the knockout man. and he fell down. When he fell down, he looked like an old guy, like that just fell asleep on the couch. Like yeah yeah, yeah. he looked like he came in for the payday. He looked like he came in for the money. <laughs> he hit him with one good shot. Um, not a good shot like it, it shook him or buzzed him but he landed one one significant shot but yeah it, it was it was an early night it was an early night for my man yeah i i caught that one that was easy i wish i would have put some money up apparently snoop put up two million dollars so yeah that's easy money show, you're welcome send some money over easy money easy money easy I mean, money man wow i mean it was like i said it was a little embarrassing i wanted to see a little more I felt like it could have been a little more, but you know, I mean, what are you, what are you gonna do? Uh, you know, well, watching, now my, my, uh, I was gonna ask you a question, but go ahead, my brother. No, I was gonna say watching Triller, uh, you know, they're they're really unorthodox, man. Like it's, <laughs> but it's funny though. Like it's, it's it was a really cool, book. <laughs> yeah, it's an entertaining show. Yeah, yeah, uh, it went on for pretty long, uh, you know, because of the performances and everything yeah. like that. I'm not really used to that, so I kind of was switching back and forth between watching that and watching something else. But uh, for the most part, I've seen all the fights and everything. But I mean, it, it's good. It, it's a good show. Um, but that's why I, that's kind of how I look at it, too, as a show. Because, mm -hmm. you know, it, yeah. it has a lot of things happening. You know, people Snoop is up there smoking while, you know, Oscar De La Hoya is yeah, real tipsy yeah, yeah, and feeling yeah, yeah, real yeah, nice. The whole, the whole team was out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. So. It is it's a show. It's a, it's it's entertaining show, a little unorthodox, but uh it's funny. I, I think it's funny that Al is up there announcing and he's trying to be the serious one <laughs> while everybody's yeah, everyone's <laughs> wilding, yeah. Yeah, and he's actually <laughs> trying to call a fight. That I think that's funny. Now, but what, 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 what was you gonna say? So now with it being a show, it was entertaining. Mm -hmm. 
we we know that Jake Jake Paul or his brother aren't legit fighters. But you call this celebrity boxing. Right. Who do you want to see him in the ring with next? Well, uh, there was a guy who called him out. I didn't um watch too much of that fight. I know he won. He won well. I think he won by knockout, I believe. I didn't watch the guy uh, who called him out. I don't know who I want to see him fight. I already got who I have in mind. Who? It's a spectacle. It's not a legit fight. It's like how you call this. This is celebrity boxing. All right. Real boxing. So let's just make it a show. If we're going to make it a show, let's make it a real fucking show. Okay. No, no, no more Pillsbury Doughboy going in there and getting knocked the fuck out. Because if you look at the last episode, I called it. I yeah, easy, easy money knockout. Not even close. You said he landed one punch. I want to see him in there with Conor fucking McGregor. That's who I want to see him in there. He's with. too big. Nah, man. Conor got hands, man. He's too big. No, he's too big for Conor. Conor is nah, what? the way. Conor, Conor can maybe go up to one fifty four. He's gonna. Uh, I mean, yeah. he has the size yeah. on Conor. Um. I don't know. Connor's just too small. I don't even care about the weight, man. You I just want to see it, period. I just want them to get in there. This ain't technical. We, I don't even care about a weigh-in. Both you do. I don't care about a weigh-in. Just go with it. <laughs> Both of y'all take a shot and get in the ring. And- Yo. I don't, I don't care about all that other shit. Yeah. If we're making a show. Matter of fact, that's what we're going to do next week. We're going to do. This is for all the fans. For that we're gonna do what is your celebrity dream match? It don't have to be um Jake Paul or Conor McGregor, but what is your you can make it a cartoon, you can make it funny, whatever you want. Anybody, it don't even matter. Yeah, your celebrity dream match. Off the top of my head, I would think I would like to see Jet Li and Jackie Chan. In a boxing match or MMA kickboxing. And, 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 MMA, because I want to see all the Kung Fu stuff. I want to see all the karate. You know what I mean? That's okay. just off the top of my head. That's something that comes to me. But I don't want to go too deep in that. We'll leave it for the next podcast. But I want, I do want to see maybe him have a little more of a challenge. The other brother getting in the ring with um, Mayweather. Right. I want to see if he could actually last the six rounds. Right. How That's supposed to be six rounds? I think so. I think it's an exhibition for six rounds. Wow. I mean, that is... Uh, <laughs> yo, yeah. yo, your face said it all. It was a- I, don't, I don't know what to say man. about that one. That's interesting. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah, nice yeah. it interesting. I mean, obviously, that's for the bag. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Anything that's for the bag, you know what I'm saying? That's cool. I get it. But it, it's just... Yeah. I can't knock any of that, though, because it's all for the bag. The dude came in looking like the Pillsbury Doughboy. The Michelin man. You know what I mean? Mm. Yo, yeah. you push him in the stomach, he starts making some noise. Woo-hoo-hoo. Nah. Yeah, he, he came in there real comfortable. Like, he, yeah. I thought he just yeah. walked, he just came off his couch like, yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. Yeah, s- s- send me the money. As soon as the money clears, I'm out of here. That, that's what he looked like, man. That's really what it looked like. They were, you know, even though there was a lot of fights, to be honest, I wasn't that entertained, man. And I don't mind the technical stuff. Right. Overall, I think Triller won the night. Triller won the night. Triller tight beat. I think, I, I oh, think. The UFC fight was type interesting, though. And not even Triller won the night. I think Snoop's comments. His commentary one nah, night. Yeah, he's the night. man. It, it was <laughs> the highlight man. of every. He was no. singing. <laughs> he was chanting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Snoop on that night. Snoop got to be the honorary hostess of any celebrity boxing fight. He's, yeah, absolutely. He has. Absolutely. Yo, there was some girl that was performing. Well, she wasn't performing. I mean, in my eyes, she was performing. Okay. You know saying, yeah, the girl that came out there with two short. I don't know who you are, but I will leave my wife. I will do yeah. the yo. I will leave in a heartbeat. Yeah, w- w- what movie is that? The Harlem Nights. Yo. <laughs> Get your mother on the phone. Yo. Yeah, yeah babe. I, I ain't never coming home. Yeah. Oh my god. I, I didn't watch. She was. 
I didn't watch. Was it? Uh, I know a couple oh, people who performed. Was like uh, Doja Cat was there. Uh, a yeah, sweetie she was, was she there. Was bad too, you know. It was a. It was a couple. Of, I, I don't. I didn't watch most of the performances at all. But uh, yeah, I was you, just you telling me you didn't watch Justin Bieber. No, <laughs> no. Not that I have a problem with him, but no. No, nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. If I'm not watching those those beautiful uh, ladies, I'm not watching him. It's just, it's just it's not happening. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> yo, uh, I actually had uh. An interesting question to ask you. Mm. Well, actually, before we get to that, I'm not sure if anybody has seen the Showtime schedule, but it looks pretty stacked. Yes. It looks pretty stacked. And what I actually like about it is that they didn't hit you with a lot of pay-per-view. Out of, mm. I think, nine or eight, eight or nine fights that's there, there's only one pay-per-view. And it's a good card. Mm-hmm. It's a good card. Is now to you, Javante Tank Davis. Is, do you think he's a certified pay per view fighter? You like him more than me, man. I'd like him. Yeah. You, you like him more than me. I, I think uh, he's extremely flawed. But, you know, the problem is when you got that power, that's the equalizer, man. And he don't, he don't just got regular power, he got knockout of the year power. You know right. what I mean? Right. I think um, Santa Cruz is still um, got CTE from that punch he got hit with, for real. But um, I think he could be. I'm not going to give him that credit right now. No? Nah, nah. I definitely don't feel like, I think out of all of them, mm-hmm. Amy might be the least favorite of all of them. Not, not in terms of skill. I'm talking about star power. Right. To me, in my eyes, and I'm not just I'm not just saying this because I'm a New Yorker. I mean, we both New Yorkers. This is a New York show. We go hard for New York. Shout Absolutely. out to the Knicks, man. We Absolutely. are both ass. I ain't mean to go off the rails. Sorry. Do your thing. I'm riding with Telefimo, man. I think Telefimo is the only one right now that's a pay-per-view star, period. Period. You like Ryan. I'm not sure if you put Ryan. I don't, I don't like Ryan. Where, where would you go with that? Because I, I'm going Telefimo, Ryan and Davis are neck and neck. I kind of lean more to Davis. Davis is a little, a tad bit more exciting, but they're both exciting. You know what I mean? We're splitting hairs with them too. And I put De- Devin Haney on the bottom. Well, we- well, I mean, I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, each and every one of these guys that we just mentioned too have a pretty significant fight coming up. You got... Uh, Lopez going up against uh, Cambosis. Uh, you got now with the whole thing with Ryan Garcia with now he's not fighting Pacquiao. So that that's done. Uh, now he's fighting uh, for Tuna. And I don't know. I think that's real interesting. I'm going to get into that. I think that's interesting. But whatever. We got uh, Haney going against uh, Linares, which that's going to be, to me, an exciting fight because of the size and the matchup between uh, both of these guys, I think that's going to be a, a good fight. Hey, wait, Lenaris? Yes, sir. And that should be interesting. Yeah, yeah. So you know, and Tank is, you know, like I said, if you I seen the Showtime uh, scheduling, he's moving up to one forty to take on this. Uh, uh, what is this guy, Mario? Yeah, Mario. And what makes that fight interesting to me is because Mario kind of is like a bigger Ryan Garcia. Mm. He just probably has better defense than him. Um, so that's going to be interesting to see how Tank deals with that. He might be around the same height as Garcia, too. So that's going to be interesting to see how Tank deals with that. And if Tank deals with that, like it's easy work, you know, Ryan may have some real problems on his hand if that fight ever happens. So, you, um, so you're saying if he wins impressively, Ryan's going to throw on the track shoes? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, oh, I, I, I mean... Look, oh, look, I like Ryan. And you know, you know, I yeah, really like Ryan. Yeah, you like him. You're, you're a fan of him. I'm um, not on, on, I, on him. I have to question your your moves. Like, like I said, I'll give everybody their credit, but you always got to put things in content. When you are the number one for the WBC, which is Devin Haney's belt, mm-hmm. why are you yes. not fighting him? Yes. Yes. So you went to ask people who do you want? Who do you want to see you fight? 
apparently it was a tank. So you go to go to tank and that doesn't happen. Now you're saying you're going to go fight Pacquiao. That doesn't happen. Now yeah. you, you're still yeah. supposed to fight Haney because you are his mandatory. But yet now you're fighting for Tuna. I, I don't know. See, in that instance, though, so I don't, I, I would never question him. If you're going to go fight Pacquiao, who's still alive, uh, you know, his better days are behind him. We all know that. Right. He's still alive, though. You know, and he's bigger. And probably the biggest payday of all of them put together. Sure. Sure. So I, I don't knock anyone for going to get the money. But my problem's never been go get your money. I just hate the people that try to give you too much credit when you go get the money. You know what I mean? Like right mm -hmm. now with Jake Paul knocking out Ben. That, that's for the money. You know, it was a show. Right. So if, if Ryan's going to go get the bag and, and, and fight Pac-Man, I'm not knocking you for that. No, not at all. I'm not going to knock that. But I'm just saying now that that fell through, that didn't happen. Yeah. Shouldn't you try to get the belt? Which is well, I got a difference of opinion. Then why is your boy Tank jumping weight? I think all the other guys got much more star power than um the guy the guy that they're supposed to fight was uh, Mario. So no, you know Mario's a champion up there, and he's a hard he, he's a actual hard fight. You know when people bring about bring up uh Tank right now, I mean not Tank, but. Uh, they bring up Ryan versus Fortuna. Everybody keeps saying that Fortuna is going to be a difficult fight. And I'm like, actually, I'm, I'm actually a little more surprised. Like, they actually feel like he's more difficult than Luke Campbell. And now I have to actually go back and watch a little more I, I, of his fights because just I'm not sure if I can. Thing. Yeah, I'm not sure if I, I agree with that. Well, maybe I'm missing it, too, because I, I don't see that that comment either, but. I would have to go back and, and really watch yeah. the film because I'm I know Fortuna gave Robert Easter some trouble. Um I don't know. Besides that, I, I, I'm not really too sure of his his fighting skill. You know, when I look at Ryan Garcia, Ryan Garcia can end a, a fight on one punch. I don't really see that with uh Fortuna at all. But uh, they're, they're talking this fight up like it's going to be a tough fight. So, you know, we'll see. But I got to go back and watch. I got to watch more tape on him. Yeah, I definitely do. You know, I'm not as hardcore as I used to be. I'm not even going to pretend to be that way. Mm. I was at one point. I'm not. You know what I mean? So some of the guys that, that, that I watch, I may only take a glance at them. Right. If the fight's on, I want to watch it. But I'm not really studying a guy like, when we were talking about F.A., I actually missed the fight that you told me that F.A. fought, the tough fight. And before I saw that fight, I told you he, he, he throws with too much uh, power behind his – he throws everything with every punch. Yeah, a lot of hand dropping, you said, right. A lot of hand dropping. So it was funny that I mentioned that, but I didn't, I didn't really see that fight you told me about. Then when I went back and watched it, he got caught. Yeah. Through all his weight and through a punch, the guy weaved it, short hand, boom, and dropped him. Yeah. So I would have to go back and look at um the guy who, who uh you brought up with Ryan. Yeah, Fortuna, yeah. We yeah. start to analyze a lot of stuff. Because I could pick up on it after watching a couple of rounds. But to be honest, I'm not even on front. Like, I've been studying all these guys. I'm more of a casual fan right now. And I'll take a look at it. Right. But unless you you got that real star power, I don't know, man. Now, now that we you know we're still on the topic of, well, we kind of drifted off a little bit, but we we started on the topic with the Showtime. All schedule. over the place today. Yeah, but no, I wanted to ask you this. Uh, there's another fight on the Showtime schedule that is interesting to me, and it's uh, Charlo against uh, Casabano. Charlo. Yeah, yeah. Charlo. Now. One of my favorite fighters, man. Now, um, wait, which Charlo is this? The heavier Charlo? No, the lighter one, 154. Okay, yeah, all right. That, that, that's my guy. That's my guy. Do you think he belongs on the pound for pound list? Hmm. It's weird because I, I probably would have said yes before he fought um, Tony Harris or. Mm -hmm. But then he came back and knocked Harris out. Right. 
So my thing was, I hated the fact he only looks for the home run. I'm not sure if I give him like he adjusted from the end yet. I haven't really seen him struggle with someone and um, break him down, go into the body and and piece by piece rather than just look for the home run. Right. Okay. So now let me ask you this. Now, Man, that was a jab. I hit you with a jab. That was it was a, yeah. It was oh, okay. So let me get the haymaker real quick. He's known for those. He's known. Right. For those. Let, let me get the haymaker real quick. All right. So let me ask you, do you agree with this? Uh Tyson right. Ferry is on a couple of uh pound for pound lists. Do you agree? Yeah. Yeah. You know what's whack? I don't even want to agree with this cheating motherfucker, man. But yeah, I agree, man. Damn, man. It's weird because it's no it's hard to judge someone. We've had this conversation when you cheat, tainted beef, your man Canelo eating steroid injected pigs or bacon or whatever he ate, man. We don't know what the fuck he ate. Right, right. The mushrooms and turned into Super Mario, spitting flames at everyone. We, we don't know. I uh, it's it's weird because I like Fury. You could okay. watch him and see he has uh some of the most he's probably the most technically skilled fighter up there as a heavyweight. He's huge. He's like seven twelve, So it's hard to hit him. He's got movement. Like if he's, you know, five, three. Okay. Boxing skill. And now I don't know if you could say he had the fake gloves, but it looks like he's sitting on his punches more. It's hard to tell because is he a cheater or did he really knock out Dante um, Wilder? Right. I, but yeah, man, since there's no concrete proof, I'm going to lean towards yes. Okay. I'm going to lean towards yes, man. Now, I hope you're ready for the haymaker. Oh, shit. I got, more, ready. I got more fucking punches coming. I'm a little woozy already, man. <laughs> now, the reason why I asked you that is because now I need you to make it make sense to me. How is it that you beat one guy, the one guy that you beat, right, is not considered to be a good boxer. Mm. He's looked at as being one dimensional. Mm -hmm. And before that, you wasn't on the pound for pound list. How do you beat that guy and you make the pound for pound list, but you have somebody like Jamel Charlo, who's about to unify the division at 154, who fought pretty stiff competition and not on the pound for pound list? Mm. How, how do you beat somebody who's considered one dimensional and you make the pound for pound list? So, I don't, I don't, I don't, that doesn't make sense to me. Okay. Well, I, I'm going to try, I'm going to try to bother. <laughs> I'm going to try to use some head movement on this. One. Okay. He, that, it doesn't add up. Nah, he was on pace to make the pound for pound list before his life got involved. You know, he ended up uh, falling off a cliff after beating Klinsko. Supposedly, he had um alcohol. I, I'm I don't really remember the problems, but he had a lot of problems. He had a lot of, yeah, some health he problems. Fell off the map and stuff like that. Okay. No, right. and I think that derailed his career. Right. Because after beating Klinsko, the division's whack. Let's be honest. The heavyweight division has been whack for a while, but he did beat the pound for pound king in the heavyweight division he beat the guy he beat the main champ he beat vladimir klinchko now joshua knocked klinchko out but he did beat klinchko he was the first one to beat klinchko and then i guess when he went on his little hi- hiatus um wilder took over wilder started knocking everyone out okay and he is one dimensional and most of the fights we watch, I have him losing till he drops the bomb. I had him losing a lot with Ortiz. Most of the rounds he lost. Right. right. Um, I also had him getting rocked in the Ortiz fight. I think Ortiz would have won had he not got dropped. That's a stupid ass statement. Mama for saying that. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, that was just dumb. But if he, if he didn't get caught with the bombs, I think he, you know, he. He would have won technically in, in terms of rounds and stuff like that. But so, you still feel that Tyson Ferry off of beating somebody who he, I, I guess technically a boxer is supposed to be the puncher, right? 
you still feel like he deserves to be in a pound for pound list? And I mean, he really made the pound for pound list off of beating somebody who a lot of people criticized. And everybody used to say, if he gets in there with a boxer, the Wilder's going to get hurt. Yeah, the thing is, Wilder got in there with a lot of boxers and knocked them out. Right. Because he's, especially the Cuban fighters, man, their background is serious. So was that, so was, do you think Wilder was on a pound for pound list? Uh, man. That's what I'm saying. Now, if, if he's not on the pound for pound list and you beat a guy, right, that's not on the pound for pound list, you make the pound for pound list? Yo, yo, work, man. You you throwing me two <laughs> punches right now, man. <laughs> I'm, I wasn't I'm just trying to make it make shit. sense. I'm just trying to make it make sense. No, but you know, I wanted you to think about it because now, like I said, we got Jamel Charlo. Now, mm-hmm. Jamel Charlo is about to do something where he's going to unify. If this guy beats Charlo, even though not too many people know about this guy, he's a, he's an other champion in the division. He has the last belt. If this dude beats Charlo and Charlo isn't on a pound for pound list. This guy automatically gets on a pound for pound list. Mm, okay. Okay. It, it just seems a little I, I inconsistent to me. I it's, see where you're going with it. It's a little inconsistent to me. Um, uh, that's why I was wondering, do you think that Charlo deserves to be on the, the pound for pound list? I think with a lot of his, uh, with his resume, I think he does. I think he does already. You know what? I think you're right. I'm going to retune my, my whole tune. So if you if you want, do me a favor because you're great with the editing. Edit a lot of my bullshit out. <laughs> <laughs> because, yeah, I, I think I'm going to change my tune. All right, so we're going to recut. Click. <laughs> I, I think, yeah, I think Charlo deserves to be on the list, man. I think he deserves to be on the list. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, he, he's going to have... I like Charlo, though. I don't want to act like I don't like him. No, no. I mean, you know, it, it, sometimes you got to go by, like you said, it, it's a feeling. Sometimes you're not always analyzing. Maybe you, you see something. I think he is uh, a well-rounded fighter. I think, like you said, sometimes he does headhunt. Sometimes he seems one-dimensional because he headhunts. Yes. yes. On a, in a, on a general sense, I think he's a well-rounded fighter because... He's knocking dudes out with jabs. He, his last fight, he he knocked he KO to do with a jab. Yo, that that see, um, that guy's actually tough, which makes yeah. it like weird. I forgot uh, what is it? Um, Rosario, I think. Yeah, it? Rosario. He's actually a tough fighter, which is weird. I don't think Charlo hurt him. What? No, no, that's the wrong statement. Charlo actually hurt him during the fight. Right. That last punch didn't hurt him at all. I, you don't I, think so? The world, yeah, there's no way in the world. I think Charlo took his heart away, and I think he threw in the flag. I don't know, man. There's no way he knocks him out with a jab to the body, man. It's no I don't way. know, man. Uh, I, I, and it's weird because that guy's actually pretty good. He's a tough guy. He's a yeah. He's a Rosario tough guy. Rosario's tough, man. And he throws with some heat, and that was a good fight. So, I man. But that that was bullshit, though. That punch, I th- I think he quit, man. You know, I think he was just scared of Charlo. Charlo hurt him, and he looked for a way out. But he's actually a tough fighter, which is weird. It, you see, I, I don't know, That's like if fight. you know, I don't know if I could agree with that. Only because you know, I remember when he had fought uh, Julian Rock uh, Williams, right? He he fought uh, Julian, and Fine. before that fight, fight, yeah, he had said that he's not trying to lose anymore. Like he's not going in there. He he he's not going in there to lose. So he went in there and he rocked him. Like he rocked him. I I'm pretty sure he thought that he was going to do the same thing to Charlo. I don't I don't think he went in there. Maybe during the fight he could have you know lost some confidence, but I, I don't know. I don't think I don't know. I don't remember that fight that clearly, but I remember him throwing some heat back. You know he's not right. a, uh he's not a laid down guy. He, he goes in there firing back, but I'm talking about the knockout, not the fight. Because I believe if, if my memory serves me correct, which is pretty bad, my memory's fucked. So, I mean, that, that means nothing. But he was throwing some heat that fight, if I'm not mistaken. He was trying to go for it. Yeah, he was trying to go for it, but um, Charlo punches. See, the way that Charlo punches, and I really like how he punches because he is tucked 
it's tough. Oh, yeah. He he throws from here. Yeah. So he he gets full, like he's throwing, yeah, all the way back there. And a lot of times when he throws hooks, if you actually look, he catches people with short hooks. Like he'll those catch are the hard yeah. ones. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, those are the hard ones. you know, Rosario got the first knockdown was more of uh he tripped on they they tripped on each other's foot, but they got counted as a knockdown. The second one he got caught with some hooks. And then the last one was a jab. Now, I don't know what happened. I never seen anybody react like that. If he faked it, he deserves an Emmy because him and uh Red Calf or Red or whatever from the other day from Trilla, yeah, they, they both deserve Emmys because that was one hell of a performance. Yeah, that that dude too though. No, nah, but that one looked more legit. That was like a real punch to the stomach. No, he but he acted like he hit him uh, you know, and his, <laughs> his baby baking machine, like he he was like, oh, yeah. he was doing and maybe he don't most. maybe he don't got kids yet. Maybe <laughs> he was a little worried that this is the end for him. Who knows, man? Yeah, it was pretty embarrassing. But you know, you know, that's why I, I looked at Charlo like, you know, if you really go back and look at his resume, I, I felt like he deserves to be on there. Mm. I really do. Uh, I don't see how Tyson Ferry makes it on there over him. I don't see how a couple of fighters make it on there over him. A lot of these big mainstream media. Uh, platforms they have you know they don't have him on there but I feel like he definitely deserves it if you really look at his resume and pay attention to the, the competition that he fought and how he actually he won he he won a lot of his competition you know and even with the first fight with Harrison I still feel like he won that fight I know some people may feel otherwise but I don't I still feel like he won that fight it was a close fight but the second fight I think you know he proved it and you know and uh yeah he got him out of there um and I'm not sure over the weekend, Harrison had a great interview with, uh, I forgot who it was, it might have been Fight Hype, uh, a Fight Hub, I don't know which one. But he had a great interview, and he had said some things in the interview that was uh, pretty awesome. So if y'all guys want to watch that, go, y'all go watch that. But in the interview, he brung up somebody who I actually DM, and I think a lot of people also DM, uh, especially after the, the Showtime schedule came out, and it was heard. Mm. And I asked him, like, you know, um, I said, you know, hopefully everything is well with you and your family, first and foremost. And secondly, I, I was hoping to see you on the list. Now, on Twitter, he then came out a couple of days later and said that something happened with his health. Uh, I think his father had passed away. Uh, so, you know, he was really, you know, just home with his family. And he was supposed to fight in May. So hopefully he gets in there. But yeah. I was like wondering what happened with her because his last fight was January in 2020. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, yeah. He took that loss, the fight before that to uh, Julian Rock, and then he had a fight after that, and he knocked the dude out. And then after that, he you just you didn't see him. Mm. You didn't see him at all. Uh, so yeah, since a year ago, a year ago, and he's a big boy. He's a tough guy. He's a good guy, so I I wanted I wanted to see him in there. So when I didn't see him on the schedule, kind of surprised me. Now, what do you think about <clears throat> seeing him? Who who would you want to see them see him in there with? Hurt or Charlo? Hurt. Probably Charlo. He's not going to get that right away. That's why you know he's not he's not getting that right away. No, he's not getting. I don't even think Harrison is getting a a third fight. Right away, you know, he asked for that too, but he's nah, not getting that nah, right away. No, nah, we, we we're not giving him that. You know, we're not giving him that because the last fight, um, I think it might have. Yeah, it was over this weekend too, which I didn't I didn't really watch uh, too much. No, nah, I, I, I checked it out. He fought Roy's fight. I forgot the guy's name, of course. Yeah. You know, whatever. <laughs> I forget names and mispronounce them. But yeah, but it was fought, yeah, it was a draw. He fought Roy's fighter. And Roy's fight actually did good, man. It was actually a really close fight. I wouldn't say too entertaining. It was a more, but they were going at it, man. But it wasn't the the, the greatest fight. But it was close where it could have went either way. I think it ended up being a split decision. But to me, Harris didn't do en- We spoke about this. Harris didn't do enough to beat Charlo the first time. Charlo mm. was the champion, undisputed, and didn't get the benefit of the doubt. Fine. He clearly knocked him out. Unless I'm mistaken, he almost took Harris's head off in the second fight. So 
if you go in, it was a close fight and he actually should have lost the first fight the first time, and then they come back for the rematch and you lose by knockout, nah, you don't get a rematch. And then your next fight be a draw. I'm not sure if that was his next fight, but yeah, it was it recently just came up yesterday. Yeah, Roy's fighter. You got to put in a little more work. So let's slow that down. Right. Heard, heard. I would like to see him in there with her. And and sometimes, even though a guy doesn't have, uh, he did take an L, just a name in general. So I'm looking at Charlo's record. And I think the only reason that he's not high in higher regards, because he takes people out. He, he, he walking yeah. down them. You know, he turns them into zombies. They hit, He hits them. They turn into different people and start all over the floor. So yeah, he does shit. But I can't really see any big names on his record. I think that's the only reason that's separating him from from the other guys. Well, really? Know, yeah, I, I'm not seeing the the superstar power. I, I mean, if you, I think you have to start from from Hat, Hat from Halley, Charles Halley, right? That's when the competition got started to get. Uh, stiff for him, right? Pause, but that's when it it, it started. Um, nah, because even Demetrius Hopkins is a tough fight. That was a couple fights before that. He has some. He has names on his resume, and you remember he he unified. So yeah, but you, you're not fighting the star. You know that's that that's always the the great versus better debate. You know but who's the star yeah. in that division at 154 besides him. That you, yeah. he needs a yeah. fight. It, I mean, I don't know. We we know, but maybe for you know casuals, who would you say is a star at one fifty four? Herb would be a star. He, you know, out of sight, out of mind, though. See, when you look at that, oh, I'm gonna pull up the. So one 154 top 10. You got a lot of people there. You got Laura there. Um heard L- Laura's uh a champion for one of those belts. Uh you know, n- not the main one, but one of them. Um Laura heard uh you still got uh Lubin Rosario's there. Um and you know Harrison, but you know, you. So, would you want to see him in there with Lubin again, or do you want to see him in there with her? Who are we talking about, Charlo? Yeah, I mean, you already. You know, I do think he caught Lubin with a, a perfect punch. So, I do think it would be a way better um, fight had had he get his rematch. Mm-hmm. Um, nah, I would. I would prefer to see you in there with her. I think you know, at this point, Charlo can unify. Uh, he could probably could defend the belts maybe one or two times. And if he wanted to move up, I wouldn't have an issue with it. Even if he wanted to defend it one time, or may, even if he didn't want to defend it, maybe he just wanted to unify and then move up. I wouldn't have a problem with it because everybody he, he, he been in there. He, he got him out of there. He got him out of there. I mean, do I, was heard and him a big talk back in the day? Yes, it was. But after her took that L, you know, and then he, you know, he he went MIA for a while, you know, like I said, out of sight, out of mind, people started to forget about that. No, nah, man, I'm looking at the ranks, man. Her, Herd's pretty much the only guy that I would prefer to see him in there with, man. If not, then after that, after he unifies, it's time to keep him moving. Man. There's yeah. really only three names that I can think of off rip who – not saying that I would really want him to see him, but probably whatever could fight him, which would be Heard, uh, Lubin again, and Harrison. Besides those three, I don't think there's anybody that, you know, not even. Oh and I like Williams, uh, Julian Rock Williams. I like him, and I don't think you know. I don't know. I don't think he d- uh, deserves to be over those those three. Rock, nah, nah. and he's kind of chinny anyway. The thing with Laura, Laura's a boring fight. Man. But it's Charlo in there with him. Charlo will definitely push it. Man, this guy will put on his shocker shoes and, you know. Nah, that's not a fight I would rather. For that, I'd rather see the hammer back in there. With him. 
Right. Other than that, man, I it, it, it let him unify, and then it's time to keep it moving. That's it. That's it. There's really no other star power in that division. That's that's what I'm saying. Yeah, and then next week it's really no big fights. Well, I mean, we have some fights coming up, but like you said, nothing big. Uh, I think the biggest one though would have to be uh, Usman versus uh, Masadov too, and that's MMA. That. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Can't wait for that, man. That that should be a good fight. The MMA mm-hmm. fight last night. See, we're, we're both more casual um, MMA fans. We're not hardcore. Well, I'm not gonna speak for you, my fault, brother. No, you. Do. Yeah, same. Yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, we're casual MMA fans, so we'll watch, but I always watch. But yeah, don't expect us to analyze it as well as we can analyze boxing. No way, no way. Yeah, you know, we're gonna tell you that from jump, so that way you know you're not you don't feel some type of way. But yeah. the week after that, we do have a decent heavyweight bout. Uh, we have uh Chisora against uh, Parker, which I'm actually interested to see those styles match up. See, I thought you was gonna bring up Andy Andy Ruiz, man. Man, he looks good, man. He looks real good. Yeah, yeah. I've, I actually forgot. Um, it was at um that Areola, right? That's who he's supposed to be yes, fighting. Sir. Yeah, man. Forty nine dollars that I will not be paying for. That's a pay per view fight. Oh Jesus Christ, man! What is going on? I don't know how that's a pay per view fight. Yeah, me neither, man. Everyone trying to jump on the the Jake Paul train. Maybe they have a great undercard that I don't know about. I don't, I don't, I mean, maybe they do. Uh, maybe I have to look that up. Maybe they have a great undercard that I'm unfamiliar with, but uh, I don't think so. Well, we'll let you guys know about the Mazda dog fight. Yeah, I've absolutely. Been for a while, man, since back when he was in the backyards with Kimbo, man, that, that's a tough dude, man. Yeah. Yeah, he, he street street fighter turned MMA fighter. He that's that that guy is for real, man. But all right, everyone, man. Appreciate y'all checking in. Yes, absolutely. We definitely do. Thank you for uh definitely uh checking in with us. You know, if this is your first time watching, um, we got more content coming. We're working on it, we're still new, we're still working at it. Um, but uh every week we're gonna definitely put one of these out. And uh, we're going to have uh, other stuff coming as well. So, yes, you know, sir. Yes, sir. Stay tuned. Uh, you know, keep on rocking with us. And, uh, you know, let let's, them know. Let's, let's the journey we together. On, you put us on iHeart, right? Yeah, we on uh, iHeartRadio, um, I believe. I mean, I'm going to make sure of that. <laughs> we on yeah. iHeartRadio. You're going to listen to that podcast. And then you can listen to the podcast on Podbean. Uh, we're going to have uh, Spotify and iTunes uh or pod, uh apple podcast coming as well and google so yeah. just uh watch out for us we're gonna be all over i don't mind y'all making fun of me i love the comments we love everything everything's in good sport you know I, I, i'm not even worried about it man i got a pretty good chin this is the chin checkers so we don't mind you throwing the punches man we appreciate it Jello Beats, holla at me.